This is a poem called Grandfather, an ode. Where through swollen sheets the blasts of lights break forth, and death shall have no kingdom in this sordid breath upon my veins. Though cold heart stops and cold fingers also, gleaming strands shone in nightfall upon the graves of our fathers. For pages cannot atone, and birds will not sing in the earliest morn. A saddest day, the sweetest falling grace is Jerusalem. As I ponder, Amongst my cement city, speed it along your fancies, simplest things you found joy in. As for myself, heaving madness, rushing the sulfur left in crevices to speak quiet unto dying light, raging against the crushing door beneath one's feet, that all encompassing gap that springs flowers, stones, and water. Glimmering while men spatter in temple walls. And do not gently go. Treading finest thread. To love. Yet love. No, be not forgot. Though we shout like sirens in a hollow. Our voices be like whispers in the air. And as. My heart leans on you. You hear my cries as your own. Men die in their own time and die altogether. A star shoots like arrows into my spine, priesting the steeple of my ferns, towering my low height, the spiraling resounding of temporal chanting bleeds my satin ears. I cannot grace my feelings into sensible motion, just ramblings on a silent page to wish among clear stars that spread remembrances of your tender face. But you, grandfather, you and your quiet power, all oh goodness, when good bones were few, Shining eyes and glints of hope resound in your image, which I see before my face. Though all is forgotten, wish not a gray tongue that weeps in every sinew of action. And as I may scream to the heavens, he was heaven grazed. And though you are in the earth, as my driving force, driven green as the blasting of roots, rushing waters to flow all creation ever continuing, a silent stone, wise and brilliant, lasting the night, but truly you were an ephemeral light, blighting dark shadows where light was none. Bless you and your quiet, that haunts will not come, but you are there to love and think of and dream on in ages to come. Our minds will hold you through our griefs as a prayer book held close and ever glimmering like a vanilla sky. just. Beyond the horizon.